Hey Ian, it's Mike Phillips. So I just wanted to do a quick video to see if I could help you. I've got uh, I've got a fader hooked up. It's not a fader premium, but it's it's going to be very similar. So I'm starting by going to a MIDI remote here. See down at the bottom, you've got your various tabs. So I'm going to click on MIDI remote. Then I'll click plus to add a new controller. And then under vendor, I'm just going to go down to the very bottom and hit add vendor. And I'll just type in, for example, Museo Tech. Fader Premium, and then I already had my name in there from before, and then I'll select the port. I don't know if you actually need both input and output ports. I haven't had a lot of time to test this yet, but I'm just setting it up on both here. And then we need to create a MIDI controller surface. And so I'm going to click in here, actually starting with the fader, and I, I just like to resize it to a little taller, just so it looks a little nicer. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the next one. See, let's see, I need to click the plus there. <clears throat> then I'll click the next one, click the plus, click the next one, click the plus, click the next one, click the plus. So I've got four faders set up there. Now I'm clicking the first fader, and where it says message, I'm going to click on the MIDI, and I'm going to move the first fader. And you can see it's there, it's being recognized. So I'll go ahead and click it, and now it's being recognized here. I'll do the same thing for the other three. I'll click on this one, click this little button, move the second fader, click it, and now the second fader is active. Do the same thing for the third and the fourth. Move the fader, click it. On the next one, click it. Oh, I moved the wrong one there. So I'm going to have to learn it again on this one. And I'll take that one this time. So now I can move the four faders and you can see that they're all active. So now uh, Cubase is aware of the faders and what they do. It actually doesn't even matter what CCs you're using for this at the moment because it just learns them even though I had set the first one up to volume. And then I'll go to the mapping assistant and I'm just gonna do the first fader for now. So I'm gonna click right here and I'll go into where it says selected track and I'll click on volume and I'll click this button. I'm not sure if I actually need to click that button. Let me click Apply Mapping. So now the first fader here is going to be Volume. And if I wanted to go with the second fader, I can click there and choose another item. Um, not sure what else I'd use here, actually. I know it's silly, but I'll just I'll click on... Well, Pan left and right is probably good. And then I'll click on Apply Mapping. So now the second fader is the panning. I'll click the third one. It's silly, but I'll click mute. Hit apply mapping. I'll click the forward, uh, fourth one. And I'll click on solo and apply. So now I've applied uh, all of these different functions. Of course, the first one being the volume automation, the most important one. <clears throat> so now I've got this all set up, which is great. And forgive me, I'm just sort of feeling my way through this. I spent <laughs> last hour and a half trying to Google all this. And I mean, it's not just for you. It's for everybody. It's for my knowledge. So don't feel bad or guilty. I'm you know, happy to support you. But it just takes me a while to learn too. So I think we can just close this. Let's see if that's available. All oh, right. So now you can see everything's enabled. The volume, the panning, the mute, and the soloing. And so now if I go to the Mix Console, let's see if we can get this to go here. Um, I'm going to turn on the right automation. Aha, there's our volume. Isn't that exciting? And so it's set to touch. I'll go ahead and play. And there we go. I'm able to write the volume automation. So anyway, Ian, I hope that's helpful. Sorry it wasn't perfectly clean. Um, I'm still learning it myself, and there's probably lots more to know here. But I hope that supports you and helps you a little bit, and I'm really grateful to you for, you know, you're, you're the first customer. You're the first Fader Premium customer ever, and you helped make it possible, and I'll never forget that. <laughs> Plus, I like you, and I like, uh, you know, hearing your music and stuff, so I'm, I'm grateful to you. Okay, so I hope this helped, and let me know if you have more questions about it. Take care, man. Have a good day.